I hate to be the one to say, I told you so. Demetria lit all day, I told you so. Pretty Ricky Fontaine, I told you so. Lady Snoop, I told you so. I told you so. Lady Snoop, you a whole damn hypocrite. You going to sit on your life. I ain't got a problem with homosexuals. I ain't homophobic. I mean, I got some in my family. I'm cool with them. And I don't have nothing against transgenders. The moment I pop my head in there, you started with your homophobic shit. You a whole fake and a whole phony. You still skeletal. But you the one that sit up and say you so secure. That nothing gets to you. You still Skeletor. You ain't gonna talk to nobody. Bitch, I did a whole damn video trying to apologize to your little wrinkled up ass. Fuck you and your little imaginary island you got. You another one that want a cult. I told all of y'all, stay away from there. Work solo dolo. And what happened? Y'all got greedy for subs, greedy for money, and y'all creeped right on over there to Bay Nation. And what does she do for you all? To each and every one of you all, she shitted on you. She shitted all over you. My other channel is closed, but I still got the videos. I got the video where she talked about V.S.'s child. When she said any Babe Nation person that can bring up a video where I talked about V.S.'s child, I have that. I have a whole bunch of stuff. But see, when V.S. needs it, I'm going to shoot it right on over to her. If you all want to play dummy, I was there at the beginning. All of you all coming in, you don't know. You have absolutely no idea how she started off wearing glasses just like Deanna Irvin. Just like Deanna Irvin. And she weighed about 50 pounds less. And she was on there talking about entertainment and wasn't getting no views. And on her community page, she was trying to work with Tasha K. And this is why I say she and QB set up VS. Because on her community page, she had on there that the only person standing in her way was VS. The only one standing in her way was V.S. I told QB, work solo dolo. Solo dolo. If people like what you say, they'll come to you. You don't have to hitch on to somebody else. But see, like I told you, a lot of stuff is being put out on Twitter. A lot of the videos are being shared on Twitter and they're being shared on Facebook and the LGBTQ community here in Chicago is looking at all of this stuff. It's hate speech, hate. You're committing hate crimes that could cause people to get hurt. Snoop, never in your, ever never in your life again. If you got homosexuals in your family, you sit up and you call them dykes and fags and all the things you have to say. And have crackhead Willie stick his penis in their ear and in their mouth and squirt all over their face. You such a hypocrite. Ooh, they probably kicked you out the mosque. You the most hypocritical person on here. Try to play nice, nice, but you did get five base ass real good, real good. And you know more than what you're telling. She used y'all. I kept telling you all that. 
She used you. She ha- latches on to new people coming on. Shout you out. And then your ass is in a damn Nazi camp. Where you can't do nothing, say nothing. You can't move. Shot town Christy. I think I found you on Facebook. Some kind of way you you look exactly like this girl that's affiliated with my cousins. But I hate to be the one to tell you, I told you so. You could call me Methuselah. But you better listen to older people. It's a reason I got the fuck out. You all are so naive. You all have set up and listened to her. Offer her, pretty much, offer her baby up for a sacrifice. When she told James what he could do to her daughter. And then want to play the victim. She's talked about V.S.'s children. She's talked about Heidi's children. But yet now it's, don't talk about my daughter. It's, it's double standards here. It's double standards. But you forget, I was with you from day one. All these little minions you got now, they knew people coming on. They don't know you. You deleted all those videos. You deleted them. I was with you day one. They didn't see you when you had them little bitty glasses on your face. And you had your hair pulled up in a knot. And it was so cold in your apartment. You had on pajamas and a blanket wrapped around you. So they've been feeding you real good. Real good. Cheeks and got all big. Now you're so big, you're just sweating and itching and scratching. You have held out with every gay man on this platform. Every last one of them. And you ain't doing it but for clickbait. Trying to snatch people's subscribers. Boy, that man lit, lit, lit. He didn't pop you. He slayed you. I'm waiting on the repass. He slayed you. He said what a lot of people should have been saying to you. But for some reason, these women are afraid and intimidated and afraid you're going to talk about them. If words get to you, people, you got a problem, especially if they get to you from strangers. QB, you're going to be next. Did she kick you out yet? Did she start calling you fags and everything else yet? You know it's coming. You know it's coming to you. And you're over there bleaching yourself now? Poor thing. But I told you all so. I told you all she was foul, how much she had changed. And the only reason she shouts you all out is to get your subscribers. If they subscribe to you, they going to subscribe to her. And James pointed out something very interesting. Is that when you have over a thousand people in your chat, even if you have it on slow mode, 
the chat runs fast. It runs very fast. Last night when I was watching the video, it was over 3,000 people in there. And that chat was moving. I mean moving. But for, in her chat, when it's 1,000 people, it moves at a regular rate. So is it true that those are purchased? Is it true that she purchased subscribers? Is it also true that there's no refunds for the ones that got kicked out that planned on coming to the uh, little meet and greet? You know, I got a little bit of compassion in my heart for people I know. For those that I don't know, y'all on your own. Y'all got pissed on, shit on. Y'all did her dirty work. And she turned around and she had diarrhea all over y'all. And didn't even bother to help you wipe it off. So, Skeletor, you're back to that. I offered you the olive branch. You want to get cocky and you want to get all hunched up when somebody enter your chat. All you had to do is reply back. Hey, I don't accept your apology. That's it. That's it. I ain't a grimy bitch. I ain't a bitch that hold a damn grudge with a stranger. But stay on your imaginary island, being the imaginary captain of your island. Take the L and keep on moving. Oh, but you're going to see a whole lot. You're going to see some new faces coming on here in the LGBTQ community. You're going to see a lot of new faces coming on here of every race. But that last video I put up, when I told you you was going to fall, I did that video on my other channel that you had shut down. For cyberbullying, the way you sit up and talk about everybody, you had that one shut down. I told you I still had the videos. So if I predicted that last year, it's all coming true. And for all those three women that you shitted on and that you used... You got a lot of karma to pay back. A whole lot. You just lucky that they don't live in Chicago.